So in order to create um, a draft, you go File New, and we'll just bring this in there. So this is my draft page, my title block on the bottom right hand corner. Now let's open up both at the same time, draft page and 3D model. So let's bring in the elevations. Let's bring in maybe front elevation, front or back. Um, make sure that's hidden. Press OK. Bring it in. Right click. Bring it in. Right click again. End elevation. Right click again. 3D view. OK. Now we can edit these views at any stage. So if we click on that one there. And we rotate this. Click on that. You can see it's rotated to suit. We'll just increase the size here to 1. Press OK. And as you can see, it's changed it to suit. OK. So let's expand this. And also assign dimensions. So we can assign dimensions here on our 3D or on a draft page. Like so let's assign it to the overall height here. Let's actually create an angle from here to here. There we go. Um, what about from here to here? Bring it out. So that's assigned dimensions. Now let's move these over. Like so and let's create a section. How do we create a section? Full section here. So maybe vertical and we can invert it so switch press OK and bring it out. That's our section. What about a detail? Create detail from here, maybe circle from here to here and bring it down. Maybe assign a dimension again to this from here to say here. Or this height or this length. So you can assign your dimensions on your sections and of a course on your details. Let's assign text over here. So again you can set up your own uh, default. Just type in top solid wood. We'll place it in this area and we'll assign it to that point there. So that means if you want to move that text, it'll be assigned to that point. Yeah. Now what we can also do over here is create a bill of materials or cutting this. Now these are just templates and you can set up your own templates of what information you want on your cutting this. It's asking me, yeah, we'll just click on the section here and position it. So that's my information according to this drawing. Sizes, material, name, and so on. So from here, what I can also assign is numbers to, say, this drawing here, or indexes. Click on that. And I'll assign one, two, three, four numbers according to your cutting list. Now, I'm going to open up the 3D model once again. I just want to actually see both. And I'm going to make changes to this model. So, maybe increase that to 110. As you can see there. It's changed the dimensions also to suit this. Maybe change this radius to 250. Change the radius there. Uh, maybe the height to 800. Change the height also. So any changes again you make to your 3D model will be reflected onto your draft page. Okay. Now if I go back to my 3D model also and if we go to these wood functions, or we can draw, say for instance, a route path. So if I click there, that point there, 
Take that point. So that could be my route point for a group. Go to my 3D view. Go to my wood functions. Click on groove. Click on the face. And here it brings up a dialog box with different profiles for your tunes, which you can create yourself as well. These profiles. Okay. Now we don't want a gap here, but we might want to change a groove width and maybe the depth to maybe 12. Press OK. And again, it's reflected onto my draft page. So for now, that's drafting.